Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Kay Janelle and today I'm going to be showing you guys how I achieve these curls using flexi rods. I'm starting off with freshly washed hair. I just got out the shower y'all and there is no product in my hair at the moment. So I went ahead and deep conditioned my hair in the shower and the deep conditioner I used was the Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil Deep Conditioner. So I'm just going to stay with this line and then use their leave-in conditioner for this hairstyle as well. So I'm using a pretty generous amount and I just will be sectioning off my hair to style one section at a time. So how I like to apply my leave-in conditioner or styling product, you want to start at the ends of your hair and then work your way up. As you guys should know, the ends of your hair are usually the driest part of your hair since oil from your scalp usually don't make it that far down. So you want to start at your ends and then basically work your way up. Hair is all moisturized now guys. So next I'm just sectioning off my hair and pinning it up and out the way because when I apply my flexi rods, I will be doing one section at a time. So I'm using two different versions of flexi rods, which I will explain in a minute. But I'm also using this like fake dimming brush. But you just want to use a brush that can smooth out your hair because you want your hair as smooth as possible when it goes around that flexi rod. So let me zoom in so y'all can see my curls. My natural hair has came such a long way. Like I'm going to have to show y'all a throwback picture of how heat damaged my hair used to be. So I'm taking my brush and smoothing out my hair as much as possible. And then you want to just tie the end of your hair around the flexi rod and make it super smooth. And then you want to take that flexi rod and bring it up to your scalp. Clip the bottom and the top and that's pretty much all that's to it. So the best advice I can give you guys to achieve this hairstyle is that you want to make sure your hair is super smooth before it's going around that flexi rod because that is what's going to create that perfect curl. So as you guys can see, I missed a part. So I'm just taking that blue flexi rod, which is the smaller flexi rod, to get that curl going. So the way I do my flexi rods, it probably doesn't matter, but I use the big flexi rods, which are the gray ones in, my, in the back of my hair, and then I use the blue ones towards the front of my hair. And I do that because I feel like the gray ones create a bigger curl, while the blue ones create like a tighter curl. Hey y'all, I promise I have on a shirt. I know it don't look like it in the video. Um, you're gonna see me put on a robe in a little bit because I just didn't like how that looks, but whatever. I have on a shirt, y'all. So I'm just slowing it down, but I'm pretty sure you guys understand it by now. You just want to wrap your hair around that flexi rod, super smooth, go to the scalp, and then clip it, and that is it.
So I'm just going to be talking to you guys for a minute because this video is a little bit silent and I don't really like it that much. So yeah, so my next video is going to be on the no makeup makeup look and it's actually done already. I just need to edit it a little bit more. And also, I'm going to try to make some more videos in which I'm sitting in front of the camera and talking to you guys because I want you guys to get to know me a little bit more and then I also want to get to know you guys. And it won't be as formal as I feel like these voiceover videos are. So, yeah, that's that. But if you guys have any suggestions on like any videos you want to see from me, it can be regards to nursing, hair, makeup. Anything you guys want to see, just leave a suggestion and I will for sure consider it. So one side is finished and now we're going to move on to the next one. Also another thing, when I was transitioning my freshman year of college, um, my hair was super heat damaged. So I was doing this hairstyle almost every week. So that's another reason why I'm just like flying through it. <laughs> but also I was doing like twist outs, braid outs, and it was another hairstyle. I think that was it in this. Yeah, those are the three hairstyles I used to always do in my freshman year of college. And it worked out for me. It helped me get my hair back natural and back looking good overall. I'm just showing you guys how moisturized my curls are from using just that leave-in conditioner. As you can see, no other product is really needed. So I went ahead and fast forward a couple clips because I felt like it was a little repetitive and you guys get it by now. But that is all this to it, all done. It took about... 30 35 minutes not that long once you get in the hang of it it goes by really fast so i left them in for about let's see how long did i leave these things in probably like four or five hours and then i took it out i'm not gonna lie y'all gonna see it's not really done I was a little tired and ready to get them out my hair so I could go to sleep. And y'all, I don't know how people sleep with flexi rods in your hair. I cannot sleep with them in my hair. I used to when I was in my freshman year of college, but I gotta take them out to go to sleep. I need my quality sleep. <laughs> so I take them out before I go to bed and that's it. So right now I'm just separating my curls and this is basically to make your fro a little bit well it's not a fro but to make the sets a little bit bigger I mean you don't want to walk around with you know tight curls in your hair you want to separate it and you want to get your hair you know you want your hair style big you want it voluptuous that's the word So 
so these are my curls all separated and as you can see my hair is super moisturized my curls are super defined and you also can see that one side of my hair that is not completely dry but disregard that my curls still look great and moisturized and that is the goal So this is my hair the next day. All I did was put it in a pineapple and put it in my bonnet, my satin bonnet. And that's it. And as you can see, second day hair is always better. Thank you guys for watching.